Hi, it's State Senator Elena Parent. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend a couple minutes with you today, virtually. I wish we could all be together in person uh, next year, hopefully. Uh, and also to thank you for your efforts and your diligence in furthering the cause of helping kids in Georgia learn to read, um, and especially progress towards helping kids with dyslexia learn to read. The interesting thing is, I feel like we are still, despite our progress in passing SB 48 a couple years ago to screen kids uh, for dyslexia in the early grades, stuck in a mindset where not enough has changed. It's like this huge light bulb went off for me where I realized, oh my gosh, we've got this huge and unacceptable percentage of children in third grade that, that are not proficient readers. And it's the majority of our kids. And then meanwhile, that was when I found out that up to 30% of kids um, have dyslexia. And it's kind of like ding, 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 ding. You know, clearly these two things are related. But it's kind of like turning the Titanic around a little bit to change what really is obviously a vast bureaucracy of curriculum and um, public school education. And that's why your um, activism on it is still critically needed. We took a baby, baby first step with SB 48, but we're still nowhere near getting all of the teachers trained on the, the reading programs that we know that science tells us not only teach the kids with dyslexia to read, but they help so many other struggling readers as well. In fact, it, it, they're just better methods um, for teaching all children how to read. We need to get those teachers trained. We need to have te teachers and educational leadership that understand that and move uh, that, that big ship around towards just a different approach to teaching reading. But we really can't do it soon enough because we're losing kids every year and the, delay, the delays and delays are frustrating to me. Um, I know that recent reports are telling us that with um, moving forward to try to be more successful in implementing SB 48, we need to make sure that we have some um, guardrails around what programs or what types of programs actually are used to teach our kids. Um, not all programs have the, the science proving their effectiveness behind them. So I think that the smartest thing to do there would be to, to draft up some language where we, we do put that in the hands of a board, maybe in the um, State uh, Board of Education, um, to, to be the ones to develop the criteria. And, and, and the criteria could um, also go in the legislation, and, and from what experts tell me, it would be likely to look a lot like um, the structured literacy programs that have already been proven to work. The bigger challenge is we need to put more funds into this. Um, obviously, it is not a small feat to train and retrain thousands of teachers and um, administrators, too, um, on this, these new methodologies. And it is really hard because I've been screaming it for years uh, to get additional money for our public schools at the state capitol. Um, and I really, really think that is so regrettable and I'm beating a drum about it and yelling about it every year. Um, but we need different leadership before it's truly the number one priority. Um, I'm not saying the majority doesn't care right now because they do care, but the funds to get really important things like this off the ground and going are just really slow to come by. And right now we're still in a pandemic um, deficit with our public schools. So we really have to be loud and really, really keep up our advocacy. Um, but you know, I mean, I'm committed to this issue. I'm really excited knowing that there's these, these things that we understand, that we know about, that, that science and research tells us that we can do that's gonna help our kids that struggle the most and all of our kids learn to read. I mean, it is such a huge problem. It's been discussed for years. We have the Get Georgia Reading Board. We have all kinds of things. And it's like, guys, this is staring at us in the face. We need to get going. Thank you for what you're doing. And I look forward to talking soon. Bye.